September the 11th, enemies of freedom committed an act of war against our country. There were so many dead and wounded, the ambulances couldn't keep up. The blast killed dozens when the truck detonated in the middle of a crowded fish market. The International Day of Peace uh, is a United Nations initiative which started some 30 years ago. Uh, this year it falls as every uh, 21st of September, which happens to be a Friday. What a wonderful opportunity we have as Muslim community to actually participate in this day, be proactive. Peace is very dear to us as Muslims. Islam means peace, and the word we use for faith, Iman, also comes from the word peace, Aman. Peace for me is defeating violence and striving towards unity. 2012 is not just an Olympic year, a time of Olympic truce. It will be the first time that Islamic centres will be leading the wider community in marking the International Day of Peace, which falls on a Friday this year. They'll be opening their doors and inviting guests to exchange messages of peace. It was once said, by Ali, the successor of the Prophet Muhammad, that a man is either your brother in faith or your equal in humanity. And to me, this defines peace because peace is about accepting the virtue in other human beings. For me, peace um, mean, in our society means to coexist with others in harmony. Um, to do this, uh, we need to educate ourselves about our differences and our similarities. But me as a Muslim living in London, what does peace really mean for me? Well, if I was to go back to my religion and look at the statement Islam, what I see is that the meaning of Islam is peace. The idea that there can be harmony, there can be peace. But when I look deeper inside this name peace or Islam, what I see is that peace or equilibrium and balance on three different levels. One, in terms of the environment around me. Two, in terms of my society. And three, within myself. Peace means standing together in harmony as a unit, hand in hand, without any crimes committed, without any violence, and in a lot of ways, Islam signifies peace. In today's world, we have too many conflicts, too many children being killed for no crime which they have committed, too many people misplaced and displaced from their homes. Uh, too much violence, too many arms being built by powerful armies. What we need is to recognize that we as humanity are one family, family of God. And I think the way to build that understanding and that commitment to peace is to engage with each other, is to counter divisive narratives which abound based on differences of uh, faith, differences of race, differences of class, all of these things are immaterial. At the end of the day, we are one family, one humanity. We are all children of Adam, different, diverse, but we are all equal. And we are supposed to live in peace and harmony in this world and make the world better for our future generations. So war is not the solution. Peace is the solution. It's better we understand that humanity cannot live uh, in the shadow of the world, we have seen tremendous calamities happening across the world, even today. So let's work for the peace and let's make this International Day of Peace a successful event. The language of peace is something that you can achieve by building a harmony and bridges between communities. This enables everybody to enjoy the fruits of such harmonious way. Welcome to Blackburn Cathedral, 
we're standing in the centre of Lancashire, one of the counties in the north of England, where there is a big cultural mix. At the cathedral, which of course is a, a Christian church, we have taken the bold step of employing uh, a Muslim dialogue coordinator, Anja Manwa, who is very precious to us. She enables us to speak in different ways to our Muslim neighbors. And Anjum is full of wonderful ideas, some of which we can implement. Anjum. Thank you, Dean. I am honored to say that Christian Muslim Forum, which is part of our work and of course is also part of the network, the um, Network on Peace Initiative, which of course is going to take place in September. We believe that Christian Muslim Forum plays a pivotal role in bringing people together. By allowing people to live their faith, we bring difficult conversation to the table. And we feel that when we are allowed to bring the difficult conversation to the table, we de demystify myths from facts. And by celebrating Peace Day on the 21st of September, we hope that we can contribute to global peace. In a country like Britain, all faiths are members of our community. We have to understand, appreciate and live together when we look at them as our neighbors. We need to build that bridges rather than uh, divide people. Uh, so our organizations, mosques, I think can play a wonderful and very important role by opening doors, by bringing people who walk by on our streets, provide opportunities and facilities for people to just meet and say, Asalaamu Alaikum, peace be with you. That is our greeting. So this day is a day when I'd like to see Muslim community, Muslim organizations to be very active. 21st of September is a day. We must all come out and make our contribution to building a more peaceful world. The London Peace Network is proud and honored to be coordinating this significant initiative. So get involved, sign up, get together with other local communities, make history be part of this significant day, the 21st of September 2012. So what we can truly say is that this one day, these 24 hours of international peace is a stepping stone that maybe one day we can have world peace. And not just peace within our societies, but peace on a grand level, peace on every level of existence, a peace which is transcendent. Now what can I do as a Muslim to promote this? Well, one of the best things I can do is that being a Muslim in Europe, what you find is that we have very diverse individuals and people that we're acquainted to. It is more than possible then that if I could twin my center in Europe with another center, whether it's in Pakistan or India or in the Middle East or in the Far East or even in America, what we can therefore do is we can twin one mosque, one center, one institution, church or synagogue together. And in this way, what we are doing is that we are spreading these rays of peace all over the world. So please do come and join me on this day. And please do try and twin your center, at least yourself, with someone in a different part of the world. Thank you very much.